Hey, good morning. This is Scott with uh, another episode of Pest Plus. So check this out. We're, we're somewhere in New Jersey, and uh, we're dealing with an apartment where we're about to go in and do a bed bug job. The guy threw the mattress and box spring out and, came, and asked me to come to the backyard and take a look. So if you look here, I have remnants of bed bugs all over the place. But what's even more fascinating, if we move this, is look, I have live bed bugs growing all over this box ring. Okay, now also here, if you look here, I don't know if I can get this to hold up, you got them on the mattress in the seams, crawling. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, and they were crawling here too. They're all inside the seam, they're alive. Here, look, look, it's completely infested. Here, look at that. Okay. A lot of people believe, like this gentleman believed, that the cover that came with the actual mattress was actually just the carrying cover, the plastic that came was going to protect the mattress and box spring. It's a false belief because, number one, those things rip open easily. They also have air vents that allow the bed bugs to travel in and out. They also have creases which allow the bed bugs to hide in. So that's not the right situation. Some cultures really believe actually that plastic repels bed bugs. So doing this day in day out is we hear very, 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 very just odd and strange uh, stories. So you can see this is not the case. Now the other concern we gotta have in an area like this, if somebody may come along and they may think, okay, it's not that bad of a mattress or box spring, maybe I can take it home and use it in my house. So the right way to do it would be to cut this open. But this mattress right here is completely 150% infested. And uh, the guy threw out most of the furniture over here. So I gotta get to work, we gotta go and do this job right now. But uh, he threw out most of the furniture, and uh, he, he has some of the beds that he's sleeping in direct contact with the floor, and he needs to pick up uh, mattress covers and put it on, which I just talked to him about and do. Uh, it needs to be done correctly. Just taking your furniture and throwing it out in the garbage to get new furniture is not the right way to get it done correctly. So listen, if you're having a problem, I want you to check out my website. It's GetMyFreeBedBugReport.com. That's GetMyFreeBedBugReport.com. If you're in the central New Jersey, tri-state area, you can reach out to me at 732-777-6857. And I'm happy to service you and help you in this area. If you're out of that area, and let's say you're in Canada or, or, or all parts of the world, then the only way really I'm going to assist you is to get... Go to GetMyFreeBedBugReport.com. You can check out chapters in my book. You can even purchase the book. That would be the right way to do it. Listen, do not spray things you're not aware of. Uh, do not... Do not do things that you're not sure of doing. Bring in a professional in your area and let them help you get rid of the bed bugs. We're going to get started. We're going to go inside. Uh, and uh, that's it. But again, this is amazing. They're, they're really alive and they're infested and they're all over here. And again, is uh, some people have this belief that the Indians actually had this belief that if you put the, the mattress in the box spring in the sun and bake it, that's going to kill all the bed bugs. Uh, and they do that a lot in India. However, it doesn't get to the high temperatures it really needs to make that happen here. And uh, if, if the camera's shaking, that's because my cameraman is being distracted by different things in the background. But until next time, listen, I'm Scott, you're not. Go to getmyfreebedbugreport.com. We'll check you out next time. Ciao.